Hi there, Geminis. Welcome to your reading. So, um, when I was shuffling out this card for you, uh, this spread for you guys, uh, what I saw was, um, I saw this young man. He's about, you know, 20, 25, 26. He's looking, he, he's wearing, you know, um, I, I want to say Renaissance type of clothing. And, um, he's looking into this really dark, uh, mirror. It looks like a mirror, but I feel like it, it might have been like a bronze plate. It's uh, painted uh, black so you can kind of see a reflective surface. It's really big so it acts as a mirror. And in the mirror is somebody that looks like him, but it look the person looks slightly different. So first, he raises his left hand and the person in the mirror also raises their left hand. And um, then he raises his right hand and then he mutters something and the other person also in the mirror also raises their right hand and then i'm thinking about oath swearing in doing an oath you know swearing to tell the truth things like that and then i feel like there is like a crack in the mirror and then it, it breaks it, like the the all the pieces break so it turns from you know as something that's bronze or iron cast into something that is fragile like glass okay and that's where the image ends so in conjunction with that image and in this spread what i feel is there is a massive mirroring energy and i'm also feeling like i'm not able to pinpoint where the energy is coming from because you and whoever you're dealing with you're mirroring one another okay if they're gonna fight dirty i'm gonna fight dirty if they're gonna be nice to me i'm gonna be nice to them so there's that element that I'm seeing here. So first of all, um, let me talk about something that's um, that can be, it's almost like um, anticipating that there's going to be conflict in the future and you're bracing yourself for impact. I see, I feel like you are very tense and I see you as being you know in a situation where you don't know what's going to happen but you're bracing for impact it's almost like you don't want to be there you don't want to deal with this confrontation and you might not want to deal with this person you you don't know how it's going to play out but you're keeping very 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 steady to your course because you believe it is the best thing ever and you're you could potentially be facing one other person or a group of people and there's opposition but you're just like i'm going to maintain true to my course and um i see like a courtroom you know the whole swearing in you know promising to be honest and truthful and to be able to um, relay information that represents the truth so i see something like that possibly a court date with another person um possibly being called to court to summon to tell your side of the story and then i'm also seeing as well going back to that mirroring energy um, I'm not seeing a lot of work and a lot of uh, finance, career situations that are really occupying your, your, the space in your mind. I'm seeing more romance, okay? And um, let me just relay the information as I see it. I see a huge age difference between two people. You could be the younger one or you could be the older one. Once again, it's hard for me to pinpoint this energy. And uh, what I have here is, you know, the advent of a birth. This is the birth. This is somebody who is very, very young. They're coming into the world. They're trying to find themselves. And then we end with a very, very old man who has learned everything he is to learn. And he's trying to give the guidance and the advice and the knowledge to transmit knowledge to the younger generation. Okay, so there's an element about things coming full circle in this spread and um, I'm almost like feeling like there are things that you have to learn there you're in the process of unraveling learning something and when we are in a learning environment we have to you know be defenseless we have to also understand that I'm not an expert in my field so I need to humble myself to take other people's advice. I need to humble myself to accept the fact that I don't know everything and to listen to people's sage advice, 
to listen to people that are experts in their field and to listen to people that have good reputation as being somebody who's, you know, um, well respected and they're known to give unbiased advice or they're, you know, just experts in their field. They know what they're talking about. I need to operate from that space where I'm open and receptive to new information, new ways of doing. And, you know, I can still be critical of the information I'm getting, but I need to consult the right sources and the right types of people in order for me to, you know, grow as a person. So I'm seeing here, there is a lot of potential for growth, you know, from this infant stage. And so when we're approaching life and the new year from this stage of infancy, we need to be receptive and we need to let information come in and we need to let our defenses, you know, our, our, our guard down and accept the information that's coming in. So maybe there's a different way to do things that doesn't have to be conflictual. Maybe there's a wiser, a more exalted way to do things where we can give of ourselves, where we can transfer knowledge, where we can allow new situations to thrive okay so steering away from conflict and moving towards a situation where it's almost like making that sacrifice letting the ego aside in order to allow new things to thrive in order to allow new opportunities for new people to come into the picture so um that's what i'm sensing here and um i feel once again going back to that in initial message um that I got off track on. There is um, a relationship here where there's an age difference. And um, the reason I bring this up is uh, a lot of the times age gaps, you know, uh, can indicate a generational uh, rift between two people. Um, one person operates from more of that place of I'm feeling honestly uh, 1950s types of family dynamics, you know, where the one person is like the breadwinner, the other person is like the homemaker or the caretaker. One person comes home with his or her, his usually, briefcase, and then the other person that's at home comes and greet them at the doors. The kids are always properly dressed, they're clean, they, um, you know, there's possibly uh, going to sermons, you know, on, on the weekends, on Sundays. So that's the type, 1950s Americana type of a, a family dynamics that, that I'm seeing. One person might be used to that or might want that. And then the younger person might be looking for something a little bit more exciting. Um, the young person might feel like, you know, marriage is, is nice and all, but look at the divorce rates. Do we really need the institution of marriage? So one person might be a little bit more of a nonconformist. So I do see ideological clashes, values clashes between two people because of this age gap. And age, when we love somebody, is not really a major factor. But when we think about our childhood conditioning and the environment we grow up in, um, the age gap can create uh, rifts further down the line, okay? Ba just based on our worldview of the generation that we grow up in. I mean, look at the new generation. They're so inundated with electronics and there's like really high rates of, you know, um, ADD amongst children. So we have to factor these things into uh, the dynamics of the relationship and we have to really understand where the other person's coming from, okay? And so I see this, um, this attraction and I see a major age gap. And then I also feel like for many of you, there might also be age gaps in your existing relationship that creates conflicts that disallows you to see eye to eye with one another. And uh, I feel like there is a very brazen, bold communication that came through with from somebody. It could be from your end, it could be from your partner. Uh, bold, brazen communication. Communication that was like stark naked truth. And the reason I say that is because of this card. 
Okay, so this is here the is equivalent to the Page of Swords. This is like bold, brash communication, and um, I don't feel that is brash, but I feel like somebody is putting everything on the line. I mean, he's got nothing left to lose, and he's he's in a, a little bit of an interesting situation. Okay, so somebody is offering you possibly a an interesting proposal and you might sit with this information and you don't know what to do with it and i i'm feeling i'm feeling inner conflict from your end um i'm feeling like i'm, I'm feeling like there's something happening here for this week where you are awoken to your passion you are awoken to something new it's like whatever flame that has been flickering and you know growing to embers and have been kind of squashed out in your life it's being reignited in a very very big way and it's being reignited by a person I, I see a physical person coming into the picture and the flames could be anger or the flames could be love it could be passion or it could be lust. So however this operates for you, it's going to be different. But I definitely see a spark of passion of something that you thought, you know, uh, it's done and over with, it's gone. It's being lit up again. And so it could signal to me, you know, facing a conflict with somebody that gets your blood uh, pressure up. Or it could be dealing with something that that is new and passionate and it's almost like either way there's some daring provocative um, communication coming through and you're sitting with it and you're like not really sure how what to do you're not really sure what to say and you're not really sure what you need to do um I feel like some of you might be in a relationship and you're being solicited from outside your relationship and you're just like no i i'm, I'm good where i'm at you know i'm safe um, i trust my partner i don't know if i trust you 100 percent. so i feel like that's the um that's that's what i got and then for others i feel almost like you're afraid to go after this new spark of passion or pursue that person because you feel like, no, they're going to break my heart. I, uh, I like them a lot, but I don't feel like they like me to the same extent. They might just want to, you know, just sleep with me and then leave me, or they might not be looking for the same relationship that I'm looking for, or they're not as committed. They're a little bit too flighty. So I'm just going to keep my feelings to myself. So I feel that. And I don't know if it's coming from you or the other person that's the problem because the, the the energy is very it's very mirrored you know it's um they behave a certain way so you behave a certain way or you're looking at them through a a specific lens okay so for example you know going back to that that expectation that generational rift uh, that world view you see things in a specific way and then you kind of go out into the world and and you look for signs and indicators that kind of confirm your biases it's like um, confirmation bias you're looking for you're, you're cherry-picking evidence you're looking for things that confirms what you already believe and you're not open to seeing other things other ways other interpretations and there's a big danger with that. Um, so you might perceive somebody as, you know, uh, oh, they're hot-headed. They're they're a player. I like them a lot. I don't. They're they're not looking for the same thing. So I'm just going to close myself off and keep my feelings to myself, even though there is this huge spark of passion. So it's all in the spirit of self-preservation from your end. And then I also feel like. Um, I also feel you not making a move. I also feel you assessing. And I see two people looking at each other and constantly just assessing one another's motives. But there's very little true communication or true understanding of one another. So that's, um, you know, 
Anytime we encounter somebody that's very different from us, it's a good opportunity to learn. It's a good opportunity for us to kind of expand our consciousness and to figure out, you know, why are they doing things like this? We can learn a few things. We can learn better ways of doing even. Um, so the people that I see you dealing with, I have um, water signs, fire signs, and air signs. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Wands, this is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, I'm, I'm seeing somebody, I, I feel like, okay, so with the water sign, seems like there is a little bit of an ego clash, ego conflict, one person, like different interests, you know, one person wants to do this, the other person is, doesn't find that in, entirely um, interesting. This is somebody who's a little bit more of a homebody, they're not in particular adventurous. Not that all water signs are not adventurous, so I apologize for the cross watchers, but this is somebody that likes the comfort of their homes, okay? Um, they might have routines as well. And um, I almost feel like the communication might not be great. And then we have the, the air sign and the fire signs that are bringing, you know, a lot of new passion, new ways of thinking, new, it's, it's like they're expanding your consciousness, you know, your, uh, they're expanding your, your sense of possibilities, your optimism. So the energy is very expansive and I feel like it's a breath of fresh air, but at the same time, there might be that lack of emotional connection. So it's, it's almost like you're, you're not able to 100% um, feel safe with either, either people, but it, it signals to me that there's a lot of options on the table. Um, so I see the older person going for the younger person, possibly reaching out, giving them something, giving them, making an offer, giving an offer or, um, you know, being the one to break the ice, being the one to come forward, being the one to communicate. And either way, I feel like there's some really bold, brazen communication that came into the picture. And I feel like it, it's, it ignited something within you that is very undeniable. And I feel like you kind of need to act on it, okay? I will leave it at that for you guys. Um, I just see like court case and I also feel like this love situation where you kind of need to let your guard down and you kind of need to deal with the person as a new person rather than projecting things, expectations, beliefs or whatever it is onto this new person. You have to deal with them as a new individual. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So I wish you the best, Geminis. Um, I'll be back next week, okay? I hope the situation clears up for you and I hope it is helpful and that it resonates with you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.